At the Kisumu main public vehicle terminal, Agrio Diambo sits under a makeshift kiosk, seemingly oblivious of the robust activities around him. In and out, through and through, his teachers will through a sack as he focuses on finishing a doormat that he started making yesterday. I'm 49 years old. I was in Botswana for a period of three years. Then uh, I learned it there. There are some friends of mine who are doing it. They, they are Zimbabweans. So they are the people who taught me how to stay. After three years in a foreign country, he packed his bags and came back to Kenya. Armed with the skills he had acquired and a little capital, he hoped to put up a shop where he would make a mats and carpets as well as teach the art. But that was not to be as he could not find the right needle here in Kenya. But as they say, necessity is the mother of invention. Agri improvised his own needle, which he uses for the work and sells as well. Business are, are my own innovation and I teach people how to use it for free. It's a lucrative business because ever since I started, I think I've taught around 1,000 people. Well, being that I know the benefits of this thing, I've already taught all my daughters, they know how to stitch, I mean, to do this. And uh, my firstborn knows how to make the needle itself because I've taught her how to do it. Yeah, I'm proud of what I'm doing because, okay, at first, when I started this thing, you know, I, uh, most of people make, used to make fun of me. They were laughing at me and saying, oh, you are doing women's job. Uh, you are so confused, but uh, I knew what I was doing. And uh, now they've realized that it's paying. So some of them at times do come to tell me that, okay, you know, I want to, to be taught also. You know, I've taught even men, but majority of them are women. Yeah. So what inspires you to come up with this? If I see something, I normally just think of what I can do about it. So maybe a picture of somebody or just a picture of flower. At times I, I, I get those pictures from the WhatsApp. So I'm inspired with the, you know, the way people chat through the emojis. Yeah, that's why I came up with that. They should not wait for the white collar jobs. Because uh, there are so many ways of making money. And uh, if only you are interested and you don't have that pride of what people will say about you, yes. I know you can achieve a lot. With a capital of about 1,000 Kenya shillings, one is able to start this venture. All you need is a needle, a few balls of wool and a sack. With vibrant online platforms, who needs a shop? The work can be done at the comfort of your home. Namukabo, Werunga, NTV, my job.